all today is day three of the online fashion tutorial thank god we are moving and we are making progress i hope day one was impactful i hope day two was informative okay i am sure this day three will be mind blowing and i hope you have been practicing because you really need to practice if you don't practice there is no way you can do it and there is no way you can improve you need to practice like the how do they say it's practice or makes perfect so make sure you practice make sure, even if you don't have all those things all your um tools ready with what you have just make sure you practice so you don't let go of this skill make sure you practice that is the key word so today but the one I taught you how to take a gross body measurement, some of the basic body measurements. And also I showed you some basic tools. And yesterday, I taught you the types of peplum, the origin. I also taught you how to calculate correctly the different degrees of flea. I taught you how to calculate 180 degree, how to calculate 360 degree. And also I taught you how to cut out the and also the measurements needed so today I'll be teaching you how to cut out 720 degree flea 720 degree flea you can see I'm very very full and very stylish and very beautiful I'm sure you've seen all those full fleas all these full people on people you can see how very interesting it is so to speak on them so you also you can make um such for yourself um, um dressmaking is very very easy and Creativity is involved. Seriously, you can make yours and add some bit of style to it. So today we'll be, um, I'll be teaching you how to calculate 70 degree um, flay and also how to cut. Also, I'll be um, telling you how to take um, measurements for a wrap shot. So that's the um, that I'll be introducing us to how to take measurement for the wrap shot. And tomorrow I'll teach you how to cut and so i hope we're going to learn something today so without further ado let us move quickly to the business of the day so 720 degree flea so now i'm sure we're familiar to some some of the terms now in flea the radius circumference pi to the familiar now so we are going to go through the same process so 720 degree flea Seven twenty degree flame. So I gave you a formula for a full circle yesterday, which is three sixty, which is circumference over two pi. This is for three sixty formula for three sixty degree flame, and seven twenty degree flame is. Um, two, um, 360, 360 plus 360, we give you 720 degrees. So that means we have two of 360 in 720 degree flea. And this is the formula for 360 degree flea. Just follow me. Very, very easy. So this is what you are going to do to calculate the 720 degree flea. So let's say you want... The circumference you want your flay to be on your waist, your 720 degree to be on your waist. You take the measurements of your waist, the, the circumference of your waist. So if the circumference of your waist is if the circumference of your waist is 36, for example, now, and you want to cut a 720 degree flay, this is what you are going to do. Don't forget, I told you that this um this measurement is for 360 degree flay and we have two 360 and 720 degree flay so you divide this 36 into two that would be 18. this is your circumference of where you want your flay to be and you want to cut a 70 20 degree flay so you divide it into two so this 18 will not be your that means the um this 18 is going to stand for the front and another 18 when you Add to it is going to be at the back. So this is this 18 degrees only for the front flea. 
just follow the circumference you divide into two and now we have 18 so what are we going to do this 18 will not be our new circumference you now insert it into this 360 degree flip formula so your radius will not be 18 over 2 pi it should not be 18 and our pi is 3.142 so and 3.142 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 6.28 and then you calculate so 18 divided by 6.28 is going to give you 2.87 2.87 this is what this will be um, the radius for the front plate. Don't forget, this is only for the back. I've devoted them for only one part, which is um, the front or maybe the back. So, what else? I told you for you to cut out plate, you need the radius and also the length. So, now we've gotten the radius. So, you measure the length of your plate, how long you want it to be. If it is 15, you had 15 plus 2. So, so I told you I'm uh, um, so you can just approximate this to three, and you'll be having excess. Don't forget. So and the length I told you our length our length is fifteen. So three plus fifteen will give you eighteen. So eighteen is the measurement you are going to be using to fold. Don't forget this is just for one part. So what are you going to do? I've shown you how to take this, so I'll just show us um, on paper. So you fold, you take your tape rule. This is not going to be up that by 18, but I'll just show you. So you take your me um, tape rule, you measure your 18. When you get to that point, you fold like that. You measure your 18 like this again, and you fold again. The next thing, I taught you this thing yesterday. So it's just the same, the same way, the same method. The radius, which is three, you measure your three from here to your three inches from here to here, your three inches from here to here. I showed you that yesterday. Go back to just this video and go through it. I don't want to repeat myself again. So I'm just showing us. So you're just going through the same. You measure, it's not going to, I'm just using that. So you just measure your three inches round like that. For the radius and the length too if the length is 20 you measure from where your radius your new radius is so like that you measure it round you measure it round you measure it round and then you cut you measure it round and then you cut so I'm just going to show us and don't I told you this is just for the front and I told you, always add your sewing allowance. Don't forget, always add your sewing allowance. 1.5 is enough. 1.5 inches is enough for your sewing allowance. Always add it. 18 inches plus SA. SA sewing allowance. Always add it to it. Please don't forget. So this is for the front part only. This is just for one part, which is 360. Don't forget, we are cutting 720 degrees. You now cut the same, you place your fabric or whatever, if it is your pattern paper, you place it, you fold, you fold the fabric the same way, and then you cut out. I'm sure, you, I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. You also fold, you also fold it, let me just use this, you fold it, you fold it. And then you measure, you take the same measurement, so you can as well just put it like this. But you know, this is the front and the back. If you're going to put, if you're going to be putting a zip there, you need to add zipper allowance. And one inch zipper allowance is enough. So you measure one inch from this edge, you measure one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, straight down like that, and then you place. So let's assume that this is our one inch, like this, straight straight down like that so this is where you are going to start from so this place is going to be for your zip I'm sure you're getting make sure you had yours except if your dress is not going to be having a zip okay or maybe you are touching it to the um, sleeve 
except that if it's going to have um, a zip always add your zipper allowance one inch is enough from the edge so you measure like that you measure you just tra sorry you trace out like that you trace out like that and then you cut so i'm sure you can you can see what i'm doing and then you cut so this will be for the back i'm sure you can i'm just using i'm just using this as this is not the paper just using this i don't just i don't want to repeat myself again i've already done this yesterday i'm just showing you how to calculate so you open up so this will be for the back the back will be slightly will be slightly um wider because we added our zipper allowance to it so you open up like this this should be for the back and also it's only one edge you're going to um no, um, for the front you open once like this but for the back you know you have to open it um, so you'll be cutting the cutting is separate like that. and then next thing is you attach you attach to this point so you know we now have 360 for the front 360 for the back so 360 plus 360 that's 720 degree flay that is you see 720 degree flay through you um take 360 for the back we cut out another 360 for the back to give you 720 so that's our 720 degree flay you can see very very simple you divide your circumference into two and you insert it into the formula for 360 degree for one part you do the same thing again for the other part if you if it is for your gown or for your top you add your zipper allowance to it and then you cut out you cut your back into two separate the front just one like this you attach you attach to one edge like this and then you attach another one like this so you can see after you cut it you see it will be very 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 full compared to that you can add your stay you can add stay to hit your stay or your gum stay or your peplum stay you can add it to it and then you have line it it's going to stand it's going to give you this lovely this lovely um shape so you can try it out it's very very easy to do that is all about our uh, flea you can see very very simple make sure you try it out so I'm sure by now you can cut out your 180 degree flay, your 360 degree flay, and also your 720 degree flay. So it depends on what you want and how full you want it to be and how stylish also. So please make sure you also, I told you there are different types of flay. If you want your flay to um, have gathered or if you want it to be pleated, just make sure that the circumference won't be the what you the circumference you're going to use won't be exactly your circumference you're going to add to the measurement so that when you cut out it's not going to fit exactly into your measurement it's going to have excesses and then that excess you can pleat you can pleat or you gather so that is just the logic behind it so that is all for the 720 degree flay that is all for flay so now we'll be talking about wrap shorts wrap shots they're just very briefly so tomorrow we're going, i'm going to teach you how to cut and how to so it is very very easy within 10 minutes you can you can cut and sew this wrap shot so what do you need for your wrap shot you need the crotch depth you need your crotch um, length for you to know your crotch length i've taught you how to take accurate body measurement you take the measurement from the waistline. You know your waistline. I told you it's like around two inches above above your um your navel. So you measure your two inches. You know where your waistline. You tell your um client to bend. So you tie. That is where your waistline is. So you measure your waistline. You tell your client to sit down. So you measure from that waistline to where um your she bottoms touch the chair. 
I hope you understand. So from the waistline to where the chair is, where the bottom is touching, the bum is touching the chair, that would be the crotch. Excuse me. That would be the crotch. Um, the crotch depth. So that is the crotch. Um, very simple. You can see that's the. Or you can. Some people it works for them. You divide the hips into four. That would be the crotch. Um. Um, length, but I prefer you to take the measurement. Depends, depends. It doesn't work for everybody like that. So you could just from your waistline to where the person bum is touching the chair. So that is the crotch um, um, depth. What do you need again? You need the length. How long you want your wrap shot to be? From where you want, from your waistline to where you want your wrap shot to be. Whether a very very um, whether a little bit. Um, above the knee, whether on the knee, I've told you how to take this measurement. Whether above the knee, on the knee, or below the knee, don't forget it's a short, so you shouldn't be too. So that is all for that. You need your crotch, um, you need your crotch depth, you need the length of your. You need the length of your shot. So that is all. It is very, very cheap, very, very simple. So tomorrow when I show you, you will really testify to it that it is very simple under five minutes under ten minutes you can do this so i hope this was helpful today we learned how to cut and how to calculate 720 degree free and also how to take accurate measurements for wrap shots thank you very much for staying with me so tomorrow please make sure you come ready i'll be teaching you i'll be taking us um further into this tutorial into this training thank you very much make sure you practice practice makes perfect so bye see you tomorrow